Hi, I'm Alicia and I'm here to show you how to use Forever Shining's online design system. You knew your loved one, so you are the best person to create the perfect tribute to celebrate their life. With Forever Shining's state-of-the-art online design system, you can now design in 2D and 3D to create a personalised and unique monument or headstone to create a lasting and happy memory. This could be 100% design from the comfort of your home, from your home computer. Let me show you how easy it is to use Forever Shining's seven step system. Let's start with step one. Step one allows you to change the shape of your monument or headstone. If you click then over here, you can select a different shape that you like best. And here on the center of your screen, you'll see exactly what it will look like. If you take your mouse, you can see that you can actually drag the headstone around to get a full vision as well. If you're only after a headstone and base, click up here, and then you have the headstone and the base. For step two, you can choose the color. So over here you have an amazing array of different, different colors for your granite. I'm probably going to select glory black and for this exercise we're actually just going to use a headstone and base. Now moving up to number three. So this is step three, if that's if this easy, but we can choose our size. If we look over here to the right hand side, there's three slider bars where you can click on the positive or the negative sign or just slide up the bar. Click on the different elements here on your monument, it will change the various parts to the right size that you want. Now on to step four, click up here. This is where we add your inscription to your monument. On the right hand side, you have your tools. Type into the text box what you'd like to say on your monument and it will appear literally right here so you can see how it will look. You look at the top slider bar here, click on the positive or negative icons or use the slider bar to change the size of the font. Moving down here we have your colour selection. You can choose almost any colour you like and there's even a lovely gold gilded that you can add in. Now you can choose a different font. So select a font that you like. When you're happy with that, you can now click over here to add a new line. Once you're happy with your text here, you can literally click on any line in your text to drag it to exactly where you'd like it to be. Now onto step number five. Click up here, step number five. And how good is this? You can actually add a photo to your monument. Over here on the right hand side, you can click an oval or a rectangle. I'm going to select an oval. Now here, click on this arrow and this is where you'll be able to upload a photo from your own computer. Browse your computer and find the photo. Oh crap, it's me. <laughs> here we go. Click on this, we call this the mask. And you can enlarge, drag, and position the mask to exactly where you want it. And when you're happy with the size and the position, there are also black and white and sepia options there too. That's great. Now we click add to your design, and you'll see it right there on your design. So once you've chosen your photo and it's on your monument, you may then want to resize it or it might not be in the right position where you want it. So over here, again on these very easy to use slider bars, positive and negative until you get the right size. And you, you may notice that up here on the menu option, it's just clicked over to the third menu option. Don't worry about that. That's just because the sizing option. Once we've finished, we'll move back on to step number six. Step six is now where you can add an extra level of personalization. So go up here for step number six where we add your motive. On the right hand tool option, select the type of motive that you would like. I'm going to choose a flower. Here we go. 
they're just it's a huge selection of flowers to choose from. I think I'd like to choose a rose, so I'll click on this one here. And you see it appears over here. Drag, drop, and stretch your motif to where you'd like it. And of course, you can always change the size using these slider bars as well. I think I'll make it red. So I choose my color over here. And then we have a lovely red rose. The other option you might have seen here, we can duplicate. So we click duplicate and we end up with two roses. And then drag that one to where you'd like that one. There we go. I'm really happy with my design. I love how it's looking. So I'm actually ready to go forward and save my design. But before I do, I'd like to check my price. So I click up here and I check price. You can actually do this at any point of your designing. And you'll see it brings up a breakdown, a very clear breakdown of all the elements that you've added to your design and your monument. That's great, I'm really happy with that. I click go back to a design and now I'm ready to save. To save, I have to create an account. So I go to the right hand corner and click my account. Don't worry, it's really easy, I'll show you. So all we do here, we need a new account. So we type in your email address, your password, and then we just repeat the password to make sure we have it right. First name, in here, last name, mobile number, and then click register. We have to fill in all the fields. Make sure you write down these details and save them so you can log back in at any point, at any time. So that's where it's really important that you have saved those login details. Log back in, make your final edits. In between, you can share this design with close friends and family to make sure that they are happy and love your design as well. Once you're ready, you can then go ahead and order your design. Happy designing.